Let's talk about cleaning products. You know, we've been trying to kind of clear them out for everybody, but a lot of people have them in their homes and a lot of people count on them. But truly, how toxic are the chemicals we're using on a daily basis? They are extremely toxic. People will be shocked to know. There was a study done in the journal Environmental Science and Technology, and they found the average home contains, brace yourself, 400 chemicals. Many of these not tested, many of them toxic, and this is what we're living with every day. You know, I think there are a lot of us out there that are sick and tired of being sick and tired, and you Absolutely. start to think about what is it? What is it that my body's being exposed to that I don't know, that I can't stop? But right. shouldn't we know what's in these? I mean, d yeah. don't they have to put the ingredients on the labels for chemicals like this in your home? You would think so, but <laughs> actually, they don't. Manufacturers are not required. They're exempt from fully um, disclosing the ingredients on the label. They're protected by what's called their trade secrets. In other words, they can literally hide hundreds of toxic chemicals behind one word, fragrance. Really? Yes, yeah. and so you have to be a detective when you go shopping. So hold on, even if it has <laughs> exciting, <laughs> fun stuff, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So even if that chemical has nothing to do with the way the product smells, they can still hide a ton of them under that word? Mm -hmm. They can add more chemicals to cover the word fragrance and call it fragrance-free. Okay, well, so. it begs the question, well, now how can I tell? I mean, if I'm going to buy yeah. a cleaning product and I'm concerned about my kid's health, my skin, anything... What do I look for when I'm buying a cleaning product? Great question. Okay, so it's transparency. If the manufacturer is not listing all of its ingredients on the product label, they could be hiding something. And then also, too, Lisa mentioned the signals to look for from caution, warning, danger. Caution indicates that it's low toxicity. Uh, warning is moderate. And obviously, danger is toxic. Get rid of it. Don't <laughs> use it. You don't want that. And if it says danger or poison if you swallow or inhale it, that is another telltale sign. And that's a red flag. Well, you know, I go to the idea that if it says you shouldn't inhale it, if you're going to use it, you're going to you can't exactly. breathe while yeah, exactly. you're cleaning. You're right. going to inhale it. Yeah. So oh. I know there's a lot of homemade cleaners out there and a lot of people mixing. And what are just like two or three basic household ingredients we can use to clean in our home? Okay. Well, there's a variety. Of, you can use vinegar, distilled vinegar. Okay. Wait, okay. distilled well, vinegar. I love they, tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral. Okay. That's a great one. Grapefruit mm. seed extract is wonderful. Lemon, lemon juice has the natural power. And how nice. They all smell good. You're right. And don't have the word fragrance. <laughs> <laughs> or rubber well, gloves. Well, if you want to this is a real easy one, too. Two part, take a, an air freshener. Two parts water, 10 to 15 drops of your favorite uh, air um, essential, sorry, essential oil. oil. <laughs> and then you have an air freshener. It's so simple.